Hello everyone, welcome to Acing Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Um, this notification was released on 27th of May 2025 and it's a very good opportunity actually. Number of vacancies are quite huge in terms of uh, scientist engineer SC position in level 10 pay matrix as per the constitution of ISRO centers. Right, um, as we can see um, here the vacancies have been released, online applications are invited for uh, the vacancies vacancies of scientist engineer SC position in level 10 pay matrix at constituent, uh, constituent ISRO centers, group A gazetted positions, right. So these are gazetted positions and group A officer positions. Um, therefore, it is one of the best opportunities out there for you all. Um, so, as we can see uh, here, first the vacancies are released for electronics people, for electronics students, for engineer SC position. Number of vacancies are 113. Now, what are the education qualifications? So, you should have a, a B, B Tech in equivalent in electronics communication engineering uh, and uh, with an aggregate of 65 percent or CGPA of 6.84 out of 10. So they have specifically mentioned what shall be your um, CGPA if CGPA system goes in your college. Apart from that scientist SC position for mechanical 160 number of positions uh, are there um, and again, equivalently, you should have a B, B Tech in mechanical engineering and aggregate marks minimum of 65% uh, so that you can apply for the job. That is your eligibility. Apart from that, computer science people, 44 vacancies are released. Uh, you should have a B, B Tech or equivalent in computer science engineering. Here specifically mentioned or equivalent in computer science engineering with an aggregate of uh, 65%, right? And apart from that, electronics PRL positions, two vacancies are there, right? And these are specifically for PWBD category, what I think it is, right? And uh, some backlog vacancies are there, uh, you know, based upon the various centers of ISRO. They have specifically mentioned over here how many number of previous backlog vacancies are there. And uh, if you are physically handicapped, they have particularly mentioned that what kind of physical handicap uh, students can apply, right? And uh, here, um, if you have a dual degree and everything, that is also mentioned over here, what can be applicable in this particular scenario, as you can see, right? I'm just switching over to the selection process, what kind of selection process is there? But before that, let's see what is the application fee. Application fee, there is non-defundable application fee of 250 rupees for all the positions. However, initially all the candidates have to uniformly pay 750 rupees, right? So total of 100 rupees per application, uh, 1000 rupees per application, right? Uh, 750 uh, rupees is uh, refunded uh, in, uh, in full for candidates who are exempted from payment application fee, women, scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, PWBD category and uh, ex servicemen category. Apart from that, 500 rupees that is after your deducting of the application in respect of all other candidates will be given back. Uh, refund of the fee shall be made only to the bank account details provided by the students in the application. So make sure that your bank account details which are provided by you are accurate. Right. Um, and measures are mentioned that how shall you apply. Uh, apart from that, what is the last date of the application? The last date of payment of the application is 18th of June 2025 and apart from that, last date of submitting online application is 16th of June 2025. Please make sure that you note down these dates. These dates are important, right? And um, next. Uh, Let's see what is the selection process. So you have to go to the official website only to apply uh, and upload the documents and everything. Also, yeah, selection process as we can see over here. One second. Let's switch over to the English part. 
Oh, one second. So, yes, pattern of the question. So, there will be a written test. Okay. Here, selection process. The selection process over here, there will be a written test will be conducted in 11 menus. Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Bhopal, Chennai, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Lucknow, Mumbai, New Delhi and Tiruvananthapuram. However, ISRO reserves the right to cancel or change the written test venues and re uh, allot the candidates to any other test centre. So, if you belong to any of these cities, then obviously it's a benefit for you. And apart from that, students who also li live close by to these cities, you can also fill in the form. Please do consider this. Apart from that, what will be the pattern of the question paper of the written test as mentioned over here? Total of 120 minutes um, will be considered, right? So, single objective type paper consisting of two parts will be there, part A and part B with a duration of 120 minutes. So, there will be two parts in the question, uh, question paper um, and uh, combining of two hours of examination. Part A um, is your area and discipline specific part. Here, you know, it will consist of 80 multiple choice questions and each question will carry one mark and there will be a negative marking of one by three. Apart from that, part B, aptitude, ability tests will be there. Um, it will consist of 15 multiple choice questions, totaling of 20 marks, no negative marking in part B, right. Uh, apart from that, students, you know, they will be called for interviews and everything. So, interviews, as you can see, Based on the performance in written test, candidates will be shortlisted for the interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5. Keep this in mind with an aggregate minimum of 10 candidates. So, minimum 10, can, 10, 10 candidates will be there, uh, but 1 is to 5, you know, multiply the total number of vacancies by 5, those number of students will be shortlisted. Um, now, apart from that, marks allocation, technical knowledge or academic knowledge which you will be having, um, you know, will be uh, allocated 40 marks, your general awareness in the relevance to the area of specialization that is your technical, it will be allocated with 20 marks, your presentation, communication skill 20 marks, comprehension 10 marks, academic achievements 10 marks, right. Um, so, if you are from a tier 1 university or any other university from top 20 NIF ranking, you will be getting 3 marks in, in this particular case or if you have 85% more then also it will be a plus point for you. If you have a CGPA of 7.4, 7.5 uh, or uh, you know 9 then obviously it will be a plus point for you uh, once again, right. Next comes uh, total number is 100 over here, right. So, written test, um, you know, unreserved candidates, 50% um, each in part A and part B, this will be your qualifying criteria, this much minimum you should have. In the interview, 50 out of 100 should be there, right, uh, aggregate should be 60% uh, as qualifying. Reserved candidates, PWBD category, that is physically handicapped, 40-40% in part A and part B respectively, right, total of 50. Weightage in the panel generation uh, also for generation of final panel 50% of weightage will be given to the written test and 50% will be given to the interview. So, both are important for you, right. So, you cannot take interviews lightly. It is not like uh, such competitive examinations in which, um, you know, written test is given more preference than interview and generally it is the case in the PSUs that uh, preference is more given to the written test or gate examination in general and interview is given less weightage but over here 50-50% of weightage is given to both. Um, apart from that, as you can see, in the event of, of tie during the final impanelment, uh, the intersay merit of the candidates will be based upon the following tiebreaker. So, marks scored in the written test will be given first preference, marks scored in the essential qualification will be given second preference, and date of birth will be given as the third preference, right. Um, apart from that, what will be your pay package as per uh, level 10? Pay matrix, you know, basic pay is 56,100 rupees per month plus, you know, a lot of allowances and everything, uh, a lot are there, right. Other constructions are also there, but um, if you want to apply and if anything is required to be considered, you can go on the official website of ISRO, that is isro.gov.in. 
So that's it from this video. It's a good opportunity for all the engineers who are eligible over here. So do apply for this position. It's a wonderful opportunity. If you have been preparing for GATE or any other competitive examination, uh, most likely your syllabus will be same. Uh, do refer previous year questions of uh, ISRO, which have been asked in technical examinations for a reference or the kind of questions which are asked. Right, so thank you for watching. Do like this video and share it with your friends and do comment in the uh, comment section if you have any doubt. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.